I guess uh, I'll call this meeting to order and let the roll call show that uh, Gerald, Susan, Rose, Adam, and the solicitor this week is Amy Blankenship and our assistant village manager, John. Okay. Uh, review of agenda. Are we going to add discussion of the BZA minutes? So, um, Judy, you might have some more insight onto this than, than I do since you went through that me meeting, but uh, there were some requests from the BZA when they uh, met in November of last year of the Planning Commission to look into uh, how we look at interior lot lines and, and those other... And setback. And uh, setbacks. Measurements. Now, in the minutes, uh, the zoning administrator for the village at the time, Tamara Enist, uh, wanted to define overhangs as part of the footprint of the building. Uh, but as you can see in the note and in, in the minutes, um, the zoning code <coughs> regulates the footprint of the building as a structure line, and that's that's what it, it goes under. It's just for what the built, the actual built footprint is, not what is overhanging. Our code does not regulate overhangs. There are codes that do regulate overhangs. For example, um, uh, the zoning code for Bellevue, where I used to work, it used to have uh, exceptions to setbacks regarding bay windows, AC units, overhanging gutters, um, and those sorts of things. However, our code in Yellow Springs here does not regulate that. Uh, that could be something that the Planning Commission would choose to regulate, and that would require a text amendment uh, request, Then I would draft language and bring it before the Commission uh, regarding that. Um, so that's one issue, and do you guys have any comments on that? I mean, it makes sense to me that it's <clears throat> be the building footprint versus being you know. um, So could an overhang technically overhang a a lot line? No. no. <laughs> to, you, you can go up to the lot yeah. line, but you can't go over the lot line. And that's regulated. And that's regulated. Yeah, it's just general setback rules. Okay. And, and if you read the minutes, it, it was made very clear by uh, Steve Kahn and Ted Donnell that they did not want to measure from an overhang. Right. Uh, and they argued it about every way they possibly could. Mm -hmm. um, and she was just reading the code as, as meaning that because there were no um, specifications regarding the overhang, that you should measure from the overhang. So John's interpretation, I think, is going to be completely satisfactory to BZA. Great. Okay. And so the second issue is the interior lot line issue, and that's actually also, there's also a, a similar case going before the board on Wednesday uh, regarding interior lot lines. Um, if you ever look at a village property map, you will see tons of buildings built over maybe two or even three lots uh, just because of the way some of these lots were um, plotted out when they were designed. Um, I had discussed with you guys before previously about going after the zoning lot definition, and I think that's something that you guys are uh, indicated in the last meeting that you wanted to pursue, so uh, I can draft language for that for our next meeting. Is there any other discussion on that minutes? And that nope. okay. pretty much covers it, so you'll be bringing that, to, that'll be agenda planning. And yes. Okay. Uh, the only key indications we had were the BZA minutes. And this is the time for citizen comments. Anything unrelated to our agenda at hand? Good question. Do we need do we need to approve these notes? Yeah, that's next. Okay. And that brings us to the review of minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. Anything on page one? I do have a question. Um, last time the minutes was um, it was missing. Uh, the vote missing something and so I thought the approval was a motion 
with it revised or with that. But this doesn't have that. So I just, maybe it's just the way you normally take care of that, that it's not. Um, no, no, I should correct that. It should, it should say approve as amended. Okay. Okay, page two. Page three. Number four. Uh, number five. And lastly, page six. A motion to approve the minutes. So move. Can I hear a second? I second. So approved. So we've got who all can vote. Tim, I would assume that you can approve the minutes. You were at the table. Mm -hmm. So that's you four. I was there. Okay. okay, that brings us to the number one bullet item on our public hearing agenda. Um, do we open the hearing now, or is it discussion first and open the hearing? Wait, did we just vote on the minutes? Oh, did we? No. No, no. we didn't. We All need approved? To vote. <laughs> All of, yeah. Opposed? And one abstention. Sorry, I'm new. Okay. I said I. Okay. So then that, that is uh, everyone approved except for one abstention, is that correct? Right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. As for the first item under public hearings, I'd recommend a motion to remove it from the table. To remove? Second. The item from the table. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So we do need. Amy can't make the motion, so if one of you could make that motion, I'd be awesome. I move what Amy said. To untable. Do you have a second? I second. Okay. <laughs> we want it on the table. <laughs> we want it not untabled. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay, uh, John, do you want to update us on what has transpired? Uh, yes, so uh, since last meeting, um, we set up a meeting uh, between myself, Jason Hamby, Reggie Stratton, and uh, Nick Budis and uh, his farm operator. Um, <coughs> it's been a little bit difficult uh, arranging schedules due to uh, the Memorial Day weekend and travel plans, but we were able to meet this morning, uh, which is why we were not able to get you the information sooner, but uh, during our meeting, uh, we met and voiced our concerns regarding the, the sewer easement and uh, the farm uh, operators from Antioch also voiced what they wanted to do with the site and uh, we reached an agreement that we believe is satisfactory to all parties and that is uh, <coughs> articulated in this memo that I've drafted here. Um, our biggest concern from a village standpoint is the access to the sewer manholes for our back truck which we, will, which we clean twice a, a year. Uh, we need to have a 16 foot wide easement for that and it's and if there is going to be a gate it has to be a 16 foot wide gate and it cannot be locked uh, so uh, we uh, reach an agreement to have that provided as part of the uh, easement package when it the street gets vacated and uh, the other issue is just to make sure that any <coughs> farm uses uh, any animal farm uses are uh, within uh, within 10 feet of the existing sewer manholes would not be allowed. So keeping the operation away from those manholes is, as far as a safety concern. And then uh, we'll, our public works department and the college will work together to determine the location of the access gate uh, to get onto the property. And I have the map here as well. And I, I know Reggie might have a couple of words he wants to say. And Jason, do you have anything that you want to add to this? <coughs> no, I think you pretty much covered it. All right. 
So that's the staff report. Uh, do recommend approval for the vac recommending uh, to the council approval of vacation uh, with the conditions that I outlined in the memo. Do you guys have any questions? Any discussion? No. I, I, have, I have a couple. Uh, you, you say that no farm shall be pitted, permitted with, within 10 feet of the existing manhole manholes yes along the access so that means the whole length of the access no there's just two manholes no 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 no, oh. no i'm talking about uh, no farm use is it just around it would just be around the manholes around the manholes mm -hmm. okay so if they did farm within the access mm -hmm. and we drove on what are the consequences? Well, they need a pathway for their tractors and other equipment, okay. so we want they we're going to use the same basic okay, so, so access pathways. Pathway. Mm -hmm. Okay. There, there's going to be a 16 foot wide access point that goes all the way through the quarry street. Correct. So they're not going to be farming on either. Yeah, I just wanted to. Yes. Yeah, because that was one of my things: is the infrastructure needs to remain. Main. Okay. Right there. Okay. And that would be tearing out. <coughs> right. Gotcha. But ten feet is is twenty is twenty, 20 feet. Yeah. So around the so manholes, it would be like a wider. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anybody else? Uh, I just wanted to affirm that I, I've watched the April thirteen uh, meeting on the internet. And you were present at the last meeting. No, I was present well. at the last meeting as well. Okay. Do you want to turn it over to the applicant to say anything? Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to do next. Do you okay. want to add anything, Reggie? Um, not really. I think we just we're finally on the same page, and um, I think uh, both parties have a real workable solution now. Um, the one thing Jason said this morning was make sure I'm on flat land, um, which we're going to make sure when the truck comes on the path that it's flat access to the, the manholes. Um, but beyond that, I have nothing to add, really. Thank okay. you. Okay. Well, at this time, we would close the hearing. Is that correct? You actually would want to open, open a public hearing. Open the public uh, for hearing. For all of the public present. Oh, yeah, correct. I'm, I apologize. We close it fairly promptly, but. Um. <laughs> okay, uh, I will open the hearing to the public. Sometimes the cameraman wants to say something. Okay. I will close the public hearing and I guess we open the uh, to the proposal. Who wants to make a note? I believe you have to entertain a motion oh, for open discussion. Okay, entertain the motion for discussion. Well, I will move um, approval of the right of way vacation with the conditions, the four conditions that are outlined. The 16 foot wide access easement, uh, the 16 foot wide gate, the no farm use permitted within 10 feet and public works will work with the college to determine <coughs> location of the access gate. Second. Um, should this be gates? Gate or gates? The, uh, that condition is pertaining Really, uh, the biggest concern was the one for Herman Street. However, did you want to work with all the gates just to cover everything? Yeah, right. we'll, we'll pretty much do line of sight, and I'll, I'll work with the college to make sure that we have that even all the way through to Corey Street. Okay. Uh, the only other thing that I would maybe want to recommend amending the staff recommendation would be that uh, the 16-foot wide access be on flat ground. I know it sounds somewhat minor, but mm -hmm. just kind of ensuring that we've got that in there. So that's the first bullet point. Yes. Do you do you want to do you want to put that in the last bullet point where you've got public works will work with and then location and access gate, which and must easement be path on maybe or access path. And right. Access path and then add something about the level. That ground is that I mean is that acceptable to put it in the same? It shouldn't say access gates. Is there? That's a question. I'm not clear on that either. Are there gates at each end of the access? Okay. So that would be parentheses. Yeah, it would be access gates. 
I think the flat ground should go in the first bullet. Is the, is the flat ground needed for the, for, the, for the whole easement or just for the, where the gates are entering? And it needs to, to remain on the flattest ground. Um, just past our manhole, our first manhole, it, it is relatively flat through the solar array. Mm -hmm. But up to that point, from Herman Street to our main uh, manhole, it needs to be on flat ground because it's a back truck, which is essentially a tanker truck, mm -hmm. which can tip over easily. So I want to ensure that it's on flat land. And once you get past that manhole, it is relatively flat due to the solar array going towards Corey Street. So I would re recommend it being a 16 foot wide easement access will be provided on level ground for uh, uh, vacuum access. If, if one was to have farm animals there in the future, um, you would need a separate permit, but would there be a, maybe this is not an issue, but within that 10 feet, like of the existing sewer manholes, would there need to be a separate fence? I'm sorry, bringing this up it complicates it, but there is no plan for that to be animals, right? Right, it will be all garden. Okay. And I've rotational uh, plans are planned for further south, south of that easement. Okay, that answers the question. So do we need to restate the, the motion or the motion um, I can read it back to you that was uh, that was a nice clear motion okay. you, are you ready to hear that back again mm -hmm. okay so Susan moved approval of the right of way of vacation with the four recommended conditions as follows a 16 foot wide access easement <coughs> access easement with access provided on level ground uh, for vacuum truck access could we get that word in there again <laughs> A 16-foot wide gate will be permitted to be installed along the easement that will remain unlocked for utility access. No farm use shall be permitted within 10 feet of the existing sewer manholes along the easement, and Public Works will work with the college to determine the location of the access gates. Okay. Yeah. Jerry second. We have a second. Jerry seconded it. So yep. are you ready for the vote? Yep. Okay. Adam. Aye. I'm sorry. Vote. You should have said April. <laughs> uh, vote, vote in favor. So you're yes. Susan. Yes. Rose. Yes. Jerry. Yes. Tim. Abstain. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have your gate. We will draw up the documents and bring them to council. Okay. Great. Yay. Okay. <laughs> now, with your help, I will set a new See, Reggie? planning commission record. You didn't we get, we missed, that. You mentioned that, but no, I mentioned that again. Anyway. Can uh, I ask, ask a quick question? Uh, on the, uh, the wording of the setback, which is going to come for future uh, planning meeting, do you have any idea when, when you might want to schedule that? Or? Well, we have a meeting in July. Okay. I could do that. Okay. There's a couple of things I wanted to work on that I didn't get a chance to okay. with our national fellows in okay. in May. Um, but those should be moving forward in July. And then once again, as a reminder, I will not be around for the August meeting because I'll be in Malaysia as part of the exchange with ICMA. So we'll be getting the BZA <coughs> request at the next meeting you need to request it the bza was asking for your in your yeah, input direction input. so yeah. if you want to move forward for a lot the zoning lot definition 
then you would have to make a motion to initiate the lot amendment process, I mean the text amendment process, which would mean uh, you would direct staff to draft a amendment for the interior, for the zoning lot designation, and then I would bring that to you uh, in July. And just to clarify, the zoning lot designation would be something that would allow for existing structures, existing lots on existing structures to to build additions or build new structures without having to go before the BZA for a variance. Um, the issue on Wednesday is a little bit different because that's a brand new building. Right. So uh, I want to be clear that this is to help property owners that would have significant burden if they're trying to improve their property. So, okay. so that's something you think you'd have done by the next? Yeah, we have a, a model that we can use from Dayton, actually. So okay. we'll be utilizing so, that language. So I move that uh, staff go ahead and prepare a uh, 91, should, should, should I say draft or? Draft the text, uh, yeah. A, a draft, draft text uh, for the uh, revising the code as it, re as it relates to uh, uh, setback and interior. Set, setback. And interior lot lines? Interior, interior, interior lot lines, lines. Yes. Okay. Have a second? Second. Okay. Anything else new on the horizon for us? You can approve it. Do you oh, yes. I forgot. Want to vote on that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> or vote on it, yes. All, all for it? Say aye. 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 All opposed? Passes overwhelmingly. Anything else you want to add to the agenda for July? Uh, I don't want to be too ambitious. I was trying to get something for outdoor dining. Um, however, we are, I'm working on kind of the sidewalk thing right now, so I think maybe it's a good idea to wait for that discussion to uh, to play out before we address sidewalk dining regulations and outdoor merchandise regulations. Okay. Okay. And John, I'm just blanking a little bit on the period needed for notification. If you get, if you have a hearing, everyone will know by if I have um, a last week of June for the July meeting. Correct. It's 20 days from the meeting, I think, in that our you code. Receive it, okay. That that's when it has to go out for uh, okay. public. publication. meeting on the 13th? Correct. Okay, so it has to go out by the 30th, you know, after the wrong month. So you would know by June 22nd if you had a hearing as well on that, on that date. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. I second. <laughs> Not open for debate, is it? <laughs> I adjourn. <laughs> adjourn. We got to call a vote. You call a vote on this? Yeah, you all, do. Okay. All opposed? All four? Aye. Okay. Motion is passed. Shortest meeting ever. Yep.